I get your pictures now before while they're still standing still and the dress is all torn and, <laughs> and the, the shirts are tucked in and everything's cool. All right. I'd like to welcome you to uh, our kindergarten graduation in 1997-98. Nervous here. Appreciate my turn if I'm closing the blind so that you all won't be blinded out there and uh, you can have a better view. Well, we've learned a lot in kindergarten this year. One of the kindergartners just this evening was awakened to the, the hard reality. And she told her mom, Mr. Allen's a, the boss of everything here. I have this plain door to everybody works for somebody. I have a school board that, uh, that I work for, and we all work for the Lord. And uh, that, that's kind of frightening, though, because I was showing a, a parent through the building this afternoon. They were saying, now, who's your boss? This is kind of an odd question for a new family. And I don't know if I wanted to give any addresses or not. Uh, also, one of the, the kindergartners uh, who will be in first grade next year, it didn't go to our kindergarten this year, but it's transferring in at first grade. Um, along with our kindergartners, they learned about April Fool's Day. One of the very important things you have to learn in kindergarten is about April Fool's Day and what that means. And so the kindergartner went to school and the teacher played a few tricks on them and they went through all of the, the normal stuff. You know, you've got a spider on your head and um, the real subtle uh, April Fool tricks that kindergartners do, and she really had it down pat, so when she was going to see her, uh, her grandma, she said, Mom, I'm going to do an April Fool, I'm my grandma, and got to grandma's house, and auntie was there too, and everything was perfect, and so she, she came in the door, and, and she said, uh, auntie, you, you have a spider on your foot, and then of course, the auntie cooperated, and said, oh, 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 and she looked at her, and she says, ha ha, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so... A lot of things we learn in kindergarten, <laughs> but we haven't quite got it all yet, so we're going to first grade. All right, we're glad to hear it. Let's open in prayer. Father, thank you for this time. We thank you for each boy and girl. They are a treasure. They're an awesome responsibility. They're a wonderful gift. And Lord, we don't want to let you down. In our training of them as moms and dads, as teachers and principals, uh, we don't want to let you down. We want um, each of them to accomplish all that you designed for them in life. And we would commend them to you. We're, we are glad to commemorate this milestone. It's not going to be very long before it's going to be 8th grade graduation and high school graduation and go so quickly. And Father, we want to be faithful stewards of the children you've given to our hands. We commend each boy and each girl to you. And we commend ourselves to you that we would... Um, walk, live pleasing lives before them, lives pleasing to you, and that we might train them in the uh, this instruction and the discipline of the Lord, in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming to our graduation program. Each day at school, we have the, we say the Pledge of Allegiance. We'd like to start our program tonight in the same way. Would you please stand and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? American Flag Salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All beautiful for spacious and for
Bible salute. I pledge allegiance to the Bible.
when the children learned all their letters, all their sounds, could blend their sounds and read five words for us, they were put in the Abeka reading books. Learning to read was one of the most exciting experiences for the children, I believe, this year. In fact, there were about 12 who wanted to read to the audience tonight, so I had to keep narrowing it down. We have had some children who would like to read to you this evening. Scotty is going to read from I Learned to Read Book B. This is the second book in the series.
children have learned a Bible verse each month. The classes will say a few of these verses for you now. Joshua 24 to 24. We will serve the Lord God and obey Him. Joshua 24 24. Ephesians 6 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6 1. John 3 6. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3 16. Ephesians 4 32. Be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgive one
Mark down here uh, fishing for uh, salmon here in the Kenai River. Now it's the Kenai River again. Somebody down on the river fishing. There's Gil, Tom, Joyce, and, uh, and uh, friends. This is uh, John and uh, Nancy uh, looking out over the Kenai River. up here in the Kenai. There's some homes that are built along the Kenai River, looking across the river from where we're camped here, the campground. There's a lot of attention up here because fishing is one of the major, well, probably the second major Nice home right there. The fisheries. Still right on the river. Be a beautiful view of a person had to live in. Commercial fishing uh, and the tourism as it relates to sports fishing uh, is heavily impacted by that. And th those fish... The uh, fireweed... Spider! How'd you find it? You find everything! Get really close to it. What kind is it? I want to identify it. Look at, is it poisonous? Oh, it's the hugest spider I've ever seen! Think we should catch it? I want to catch it and I want to show Billy. <laughs> That's beautiful, Steve. Isn't that beautiful? Look at its back, Steve. It's completely black and yellow. Oh my God, I bet it's poisonous. Steve, can you get the front of it? Can you walk in there and get it? No.
This is a uh, charter company that was going out in, in the morning. We go out halibut fishing. Oh, about 6 30, 6 45. KV charter. Here in Homer. Now, this is a halibut that was on the boat that we were out on this morning out of Homer. It's a pretty nice halibut there. We got our limit of halibut while we were out. Shops and the shops along the waterfront here at Homer. Kind of built out on a pier. Joyce and Janine uh, shopped in some of these shops while we were out uh, halibut fishing. About three sets of these shops like this along the uh, uh, water here at Homer. The harbor here at Homer with the mountain in the background. Looking off across the uh, water here in Homer. We're in the town of uh, Seward, Alaska. This is along the water, just off from the town of Seward.
the glacier here above the water. This is looking, looking the other direction, up from the water here at Seward. <clears throat> the uh, Exit Glacier, it's about six, seven miles from Seward, it's up kind of a gravel road from Seward, called Exit Glacier, Exit Glacier. You can walk right up to it. Another uh, shot of Exit Glacier. This glacier you can, well you could walk right up to it. This little ways, not very far away. The uh, glacier is moving about 80 inches a day. Some of the uh, ice caves here at Exit Glacier. Uh, Joyce and Gill stand up in by one of the ice caves. Joyce is taking a picture. From the glacier. You see the dirt on the glacier and uh, all the debris and the sand that is ca contained within the glacier as the glacier melts here on the face. That uh, sand and rock remains and it's deposited uh, here right at the at the foot of the glacier and it's created this mound right along the edge. Um, right over here to your left you can see with a one like a plow, it, is, uh, it has opened the mud up as the uh, glacier advanced. And it just, uh, uh, that just is one of the things that happens with the movement. As the uh, water into this river is carried on down the river, but it looks, looks like a 
huge, huge football field. Must be, must be 50 acres here. That um, has just been leveled out, and it's it's all rock and gravel. Uh, the the fine stuff that came out of the glacier. Yeah. Look, look, that looks like a, that looks like a. This is some of the formation of the glacier. It's just magnificent, all the blue colors and so on. And now this glacier moves approximately eight inches a day. You can see it bulldozing the dirt out in front of it. Some of the water that's uh, melting and running down over the rocks from the glacier as it's uh, melting and pushing forward. This is uh, some of the uh, area where the glacier was at. As you see, the glacier melted and uh, it's, it's just real flat area here where the glacier had been. This is the uh, extended limo that we uh, came in from the airport and they took us there and brought us back. And 